Hi folks, if you've seen my previous videos with Python and GIS, you've noticed we've worked a lot with Python and QGIS. Today we're going to start working with doing Python GIS analyses outside of QGIS um, using a regular Python IDE. To do that, we're going to install Anaconda, which is a Python distribution. And I'm using Anaconda because it makes it really easy to install a lot of the GIS packages that we're going to use for our analyses. Um, so let's go ahead and we're just going to find Anaconda first of all. Um, and you probably want to type Anaconda Python or you might end up with a lot of uh, info about Anaconda the snake. And so we're going to go to anaconda.com here. We'll just go to the main page. Um, and we can click on uh, download over here. So we want to download this Anaconda distribution. And you can see it if you just scroll down right here. Right now, there's it's Python 3.7 that I'll download. Um, Python 3.8 just came out a couple weeks ago. But they don't have an Anaconda distribution for that yet. So I'm going to install the 64-bit graphical installer. Um, we'll just click on that and download this. Save it to my downloads. And once that gets downloaded, then we will run it. It's going to take a little bit. It's about close to half a gigabyte. Um, I'll tell you the reason I'm using Anaconda here, um, and that's because Anaconda provides some good functionality for installing uh, Python packages or libraries um, or modules and their dependencies. Um, I know when we when we worked in the QGIS and I talked about using GDAL there a little bit, um, I gave you some cautions about installing GDAL with a different interpreter other than QGIS. Um, because it's, it can be difficult to install and you have to go find a compiled will file or build it from source. There are other packages we'll use here, such as GeoPandas, um, that require some specific installation instructions and procedures. You have to install GDAL in a certain way, and if you don't do that, these other libraries won't work. So by using Anaconda, we can use their environments and their procedures to install these packages and it makes it really easy to get things up and running quickly. So I'm going to pause this video while Anaconda installs and then we'll get started again. Alright, so I got that uh, install file downloaded. Let's go ahead and run this now. Take just a minute here. Okay, so let's go through the Anaconda setup. Next, agree to the license. Just going to keep the recommended settings here. Um, and I'll register it as my default Python 3.7. And then we're going to install. So this might also take a little while. So once again, I'll pause the video as this installs. All right, so I've got Anaconda installed now. It says the installation is complete. Let's click Next. Let's click Next. And I'll just note here there's PyCharm available for Anaconda specifically. Um, you'll need an IDE, which we'll talk about in a future video. Um, but PyCharm would be a good one to use. So let's click Next. Um, I'm not going to learn more about these things, and we'll click Finish. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the Anaconda prompt so can I, I can install GeoPandas um, and some other GIS libraries or packages. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to type uh, Anaconda prompt. And I want the Anaconda prompt for Anaconda 3. So you might have to search for Anaconda prompt, and then you want this one that's for Anaconda 3. We'll open that up. It's going to open up a command window. You'll see this base here. That's the base environment. And here I can use the conda command to install um, packages. I'm just going to type conda, and it gives us the help here. So you can see we have um, remove, uninstall, create, clean. Um, we can also use install here, which is right here. So this is how we're going to install. I'm going to install GeoPandas because installing GeoPandas will give us, first of all, GeoPandas, and it will install a lot of other packages that are very useful and that we'll want to use. So I'm going to do conda install GeoPandas. And we will wait for this. It's going to take a few a few minutes here, it's going to have to solve the environment, um, find the packages, and, and, and so forth. 
So I'm going to pause this and I'll keep you updated as we have progress here. Yep, so right now it's just collecting the package metadata. Now we've moved on to solving the environment. And here's the reason why I like to use Anaconda to do all this. So let's just go back up here a little bit. Um, the first we collected the packa package metadata, then they had to do it again with a different um, repo data source, then the environment was solved. And now what we have here are all these packages that need to be downloaded in order for GeoPandas to work. And there are a number of them here. Anaconda identifies all of those, and Anaconda is going to install all of those. So here you can see the following new packages will be installed. And then here we have Fiona, which is a geospatial library. We have GDAL, GeoPandas, GEOS, HDF4, um, LibSpatial Light Index, LibSpatial Light, um, Proj4, PyProj. So a lot of shapely, a lot of these are geospatial libraries that GeoPandas is going to depend on. And some of these, like GDAL, have to be installed in a specific way for them to work with GeoPandas. If we use Anaconda, all this is taken care of for us, and we don't have to go through the headache that is caused by installing these properly. So down here, I'm just going to click Yes and click hit Enter, and these packages are going to be extracted and installed. Okay, so we finished downloading all of these packages now. Um, let's just test it out and make sure we can load GeoPandas, and we'll do GDAL as well. So I'm going to type Python here, and you can see that now I'm in an interactive Python session with Python 3.7 uh, from the Anaconda distribution, which we just downloaded, and I can do type import GeoPandas, and if there aren't any errors, that means that it worked correctly. It's taking a second to load here. Okay, so no errors with GeoPandas. So now let's type import GDAL. And once again, no errors there. So we've successfully loaded those. We can do import Shapely as well. And any of these packages that we've downloaded or installed here will work. Okay, so there you have it. We successfully installed GeoPandas and some other GIS slash spatial libraries that we'll begin to use in the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, let me know. Hopefully this worked out well for you.